in the record schedule menu, we can choose when and what the recorder is going to record. We can record continuously based on day or hour. We can record on events only, such as motion detection and analytics, or record continuous and event, and that's our recommendation. That way you'll have continuous recording, but then when motion or analytics happen, your video will be indexed and color-coded to indicate those events. If you just do continuous, you will not get notification of those events. You can then click on your days or your hours. You can change up and have multiple schedules different times of the day. And then you can apply that to other cameras. So by default, you're only seeing channel one here. Another important step to take for getting your system set up to record on motion or analytics is to go to the event menu under event event setup that's where you can configure and make sure that your motion detection and analytics zones are enabled and created properly then on the record setup page we can choose for continuous recording and event recording to record the full frame rate or off to not record or the iframe which is just that one frame every couple seconds depending on the stream configuration we can also choose the pre and post event and if we're recording audio. On the record option menu, we have the option to record dual recording, which records a high and low resolution stream that allows for easier use with the mobile app. We also have the record retention period where you can apply it to all cameras or individual cameras. This allows you to make sure that you have a certain uh, maximum uh, recording period. So in some countries and some places, you wanna only have a very specific number of days of recording, or if you wanna prioritize certain cameras to have a longer recording retention than others, you can put in that date there. As soon as you enable this feature, any video older than the specified number of days listed will be deleted. So be careful using this feature. Then moving forward at midnight, any video older than the specified retention period will be deleted.